Good morning. Let's go back to 1964 and 1988 and 2019. Three films. Bedtime Story, 1964. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, 1988. The Hustle, 2019. Bedtime Story is a comedy starring Marlon Brando, David Niven and Shirley Jones. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is a remake of Bedtime Story. Exactly the same story. Same characters starring Steve Martin, Michael Caine and Glenn Headley. And directed by Frank Oz. The Hustle is a remake of both Bedtime Story and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels starring Anne Hathaway, Rebel Wilson and Alex Sharp in a gender-reversed version of the same story but somewhat more advanced and updated in places. Directed by Chris Addison. Bedtime Story and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels feature a character called Lawrence Jameson, played by either David Niven or Michael Caine, as a sophisticated British con artist living in Beaumont-sur-Mer in the French Riviera, seducing rich, gullible women by convincing them he is a deposed prince of a small country and needs money for their revolutionary cause. In The Hustle, this role is Josephine Chesterfield, played by Anne Hathaway, who cons rich men. A small-time, loud, unsophisticated con artist arrives on the scene, Corporal Freddie Benson, played either by Marlon Brando or Steve Martin, or the character is Penny Rust, played by Rebel Wilson. This character mainly plays on sympathy from a hard luck story. It's revealed on a train that they're heading for the same town on the train. In Bedtime Story, Marlon Brando's character is considerably more manipulative than Steve Martin's equivalent, to the extent of calmly blackmailing his own colonel to gain an early discharge from the US Army while stationed in Germany. The sophisticated con calls on a useful contact, a police inspector, who, it transpires, is in the pocket of said con for making things easier on certain occasions. The small-time con is fooled into going to a further town in Italy thanks to a hired, attractive passenger boarding at just the moment that they would have got off. Unfortunately, they return and realise that they'd fallen for a ploy and return to be taught to be a big operator. The deal is, the small-time con is to be a student, the sophisticated con artist is the master. With a bout of training and refinement, the student is ready. They play the part of a mentally subnormal sibling to the sophisticated con, who in turn is now arranging marriage with rich Americans. Marriage which, of course, will fall through. After a while of this, and not getting paid while others on the team get their usual cut, the small-time con attempts to part ways and go alone. A mark is sought out, uh, and a bet is made to extract a sizeable sum from them. The small-time con, in their usual ploy for sympathy, goes for a disabled person with, in the case of Marlon Brando and Steve Martin, a psychosomatic inability to walk, and in Rebel Wilson's case, a psychosomatic blindness. A fictional doctor is the pivot with which the money is to be required. The sophisticated con, thanks to some arranged overhearing, <laughs> deviously adopts the role of that fictional doctor. Bedtime Story was filmed on location at Cannes, and so was Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, but the latter in a good many more similar places too. The Hustle was shot at Pinewood and Shepperton, and also Farnborough Airport. Bedtime Story was originally going to be Doris Day, Cary Grant and Rock Hudson. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels was originally going to be Mick Jagger, David Bowie, 
but they dropped out to Bowie's disappointment. He thought it was going to be a good script. Eddie Murphy was penciled in for Freddie Benson. John Cleese was approached for Jameson. Cleese declined, but later admitted that he regretted that. Richard Dreyfus was sent the script, intending that he would play Benson, but accidentally prepared for Jameson. So, Steve Martin, who had been asked to play Jameson, read Benson's part instead. Frank Oz liked Steve Martin's version of Benson. Michael Caine eventually was chosen for Jameson, exuding the same kind of charisma as David Niven. The Hustle hired comedian Chris Addison to direct his first feature film. It didn't score very well with critics, but... I like it a lot. I think it takes the story of the previous two and pushes it a bit further while whittling off some of the excess. Rebel Wilson is just naturally funny and adds a lot. Although sometimes, though, it's just Rebel Wilson being funny and the rest of the film catching up with her. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels and Bedtime Story very, very closely track. Almost the same lines by the same characters in the same places and times. Both are very good, with strong actors in place in each film. These two films are far more like each other than The Hustle is to either. Bedtime Story, 1964. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, 1988. The Hustle, 2019. Have a good Wednesday. Um, have a very good rest of the week as well. Like and subscribe if you like these sort of things. And enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. Longest day of the week, longest day of the year so far. Goodbye. <laughs>